Hi there, in this video again we're going to be talking about hypothesis testing and we're going to be talking about hypothesis testing in the case of one-tailed and two-tailed tests. So let's just remind ourselves what we're trying to do in hypothesis testing. The idea is that we have some sort of population but we don't have the entirety of that data, we only have a sort of sample from that population. And by doing something to the sample, um, some sort of mathematical um, function, so perhaps taking the sample mean, perhaps using some other type of estimator, we're trying to make some estimate or we're trying to make some sort of inference about what's going on in the population. And we gave the example of whereby we were trying to ascertain what the population mean height was. And in order to sort of gain some insight into what the population mean height was, what we did is we calculated the sample mean height and we found that it was equal to let's say five foot seven. And then we said we might have a null hypothesis which was that the population mean height was in fact equal to five foot four. And we were sort of comparing this with an alternative hypothesis that which was mu was greater than five foot four. And we said the way in which we could go about doing this would be if we took repeated samples from our population and for each of those samples we calculated the sample mean, then the central limit theorem tells us that if we take a sort of arbitrary many samples, or sort of technically in mathematical language, if we let the number of samples go to infinity, then the um, our sort of di distribution, our finite sample distribution, should be centered around the true population parameter, which we're going to call mu here. If the null hypothesis is true, then this mu here is actually equal to five foot four. And then we said that what we need to do is we needed to actually construct a sort of arbitrary cutoff here. And this cutoff was such that the probability that we would reject the null, um, given that it was true, and sort of given that we got a value of x bar, which was greater than this sort of cutoff, which I'm gonna call C here, and this probability had to be less than or equal to 0 0.05. So it's basically a less, the sort of probability that we would have got a value of x bar in this region here, given that the null hypothesis was true, is really, really small. So it's probably likely that the, the null hypothesis itself is incorrect. So this is an example of what we call a one-tailed test, because when we sort of look at our distribution here, we're talking, we're sort of talking about our critical region as being just in one of the tails. There's another alternative hypothesis which we could have formulated, which was another sort of null, uh, which was another sort of one-sided test, which would be that mu was less than five foot four. And here, what we would have done is we would have found a sort of a value for x bar, which we'll call uh, minus c, and we would choose this value of minus c such that the probability that we would reject the null, given that um, it was true, and given that x bar in this circumstance would be less than minus c. And again, this would be less than or equal to 0 0.05. Yeah, we, we choose sort of 5% because um, it's a sort of a one in 20 chance is quite unlikely. So it, it's quite unlikely if um, the null hypothesis is true that we would have actually got a value of x bar that was less than or equal to um, minus c. So this is again an example of a one tailed test because we're just looking at one tail of the distribution. There is, however, a sort of an alternative um, alternative hypothesis or a different alternative hypothesis, which was, let's say we had the alternative hypothesis that mu just didn't equal five foot four. Yeah. So now what we have to do is we go and we construct and um, we sort of put in here our, our two different critical regions. So I'm going to call the sort of upper bound um, c primed and the lower bound I'm going to call minus c primed and Basically, the idea here is that if we find a value of x bar which is greater than c primed, um, then we will reject the null hypothesis. And if we find a value of x bar which is less than minus c primed, we will reject the null hypothesis. Essentially, we choose the c primed and minus c primed such that the sort of probability in each of these tails actually is 0 0.025. So the probability that we reject the null hypothesis given that it's true in this circumstance, again, the sort of probabilities add up to 0.05. So this is a two-tailed test because there are two ways in which we can reject the null hypothesis. We can reject it if the sort of value we get for the sort of mean height is significantly greater than our uh, null hypothesis. And we can also reject the null hypothesis if the value we get for x bar is significantly less than a null hypothesis.